Hold on. But is Raito rooting against Kamehameha? What makes you say? He was just giving us. Does Wait till. What, uh, you'll see. Yeah, he's giving him back to wow. Sid. He's giving him back to Sid. He's not going to root against Kamehameha. Wow. He, it looked like for okay, there it is. <laughs> it, well, looked, it looked like for a moment he was about to start cheering yeah, against Kamehameha. Because I, I mean, I, I, the way I, I assume that interaction happened was uh, Sid hands the Yoshi heads to Kame to to Raito, and he grabs them, and he's like, "What do you want me to do with these?" Yeah. And she's like, "Cheer." He's like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> he has the perfect seat though. That's why Sid wanted her him to be no, doing it, cheering. It is, yeah, it is this exactly is prime real estate yeah. where you get maximum coverage of both the Yoshi heads. Those, the, the Yoshi heads are looking better and better as, as time goes on. I really yeah, like them. Definitely. But anyway, we, we saw earlier, way earlier, uh, when Suarez was up against uh, the Zelda player, um, just kind of how absolutely overwhelming it can be, especially when he gets that first hit. How he It almost feels like he gets two follow-up attempts and how suffocating that can really be. So seeing how Kamehameha navigates like not just the first situation, but makes sure to like mitigate the damage from whatever comes right afterwards, it's right. gonna be really interesting. And Mega Man's Drift is not as bad as Zelda's, but it's still like significantly less than Yoshi's. And Yoshi's gonna be able to cover a lot of options, have multiple edge guard opportunities once he gets him off stage. Yeah. In the meantime though, I mean, you have the pellets to control space very, very cleanly. That's one thing that's been helping Kamehameha. And also, he seems to have a lot more confidence in the air challenging out where Suarez Ooh. is. Wow. Wow. That was just great timing. A little bit of uh, early. He just did that? Yeah. He can't get a whole lot off of this. And I think that's the reason why Kamehameha wasn't scared to hold on <gasps> to shield. No way. OK. I thought what he was trying want? to set up uh, a pop-up into forward air to just spike Kamehameha off the edge of the stage. But uh, it doesn't that's look like Suarez uh, got what he was looking for. Decides to improvise. Like, OK, I didn't get my setup. I'm just going to get damaged. Yeah. Like, and forward tilt, being a combo starter, is the move to do if you're just like, ah, I gotta get something here. <laughs> I mean, taking his time on the other side of the stage, tossing out some metal blades, letting Suarez come to him. Yeah, the whiff punch, the dash back, that was huge. Look, like, it was just by like a nose hair out of Yoshi's reach, and he still managed to snag back and grab him by the head. Maybe just waiting, waiting for the air dodges yeah, into the ground. He's playing his pace. Suarez really loves to smother and be aggressive, be on top of you. Mm -hmm. But Kamehameha is really just forcing him yeah. to play the game that he wants to. He's just, is, like Suarez wants to play a hot game, and Kamehameha is just like, no, we're, we're in the fridge right now. He's we're in the ice still. age. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do when your opponent stands still? It's funny how often that is genuinely unsettling in a matchup. It's so annoying. <laughs> Especially like for Mega Man, like this character has so many great burst options. And just just the threat of him like maybe shoryuing if you like yeah. you try to jump in for an aerial and like suddenly you explode. And then he's still just backing off. Gets himself a, a grab. He's just so good at like jumping back, giving Suarez the space, and then punishing him as he overextends it to him. Back here barely not killing. Suarez now playing really patient now that he finally has forced Kamehameha into the corner. Now he, he recognizes this is the situation where Kamehameha comes in swinging. Now right. I get to throw up my shield, react with my, my nair, and get my punish. Exactly. Right there, we saw him do just that. Now he's got himself kind of at the ledge in there. Yeah, that is not safe on shield. <laughs> Unfortunately for Suarez, it isn't now. Yeah, especially as he drifts up with it. Uh, it just makes it so that Mega Man's going to be able to throw that up smash out, and it's going to be all the more safe. Hmm. Kamehameha actually just Keeping his back to the corner, doesn't want to run under Suarez in that situation, and actually managing to turn everything around with just a single back throw. Suarez so far, like, he's fighting out of the disadvantage. And Yoshi doesn't have a lot to get out of the disadvantage, right? But he's fighting out of the disadvantage, and Kamehameha's kind of all over it. He's getting there before he throws out the buttons, and he's getting there after he throws the buttons by giving them the space to do it before him. Mm -hmm. you, always giving your opponent that space to hang themselves with is just so helpful. I mean, having a lot of respect for Suarez's air game. We seem just like walking forward and throwing up shield over and over again. Suarez makes his way back once again, but mistiming his back here, doesn't get the punish he wants. But still finding these nares out of shield, and you take whatever hits you can get. Oh, I think Suarez was expecting Kamehameha to do something scared immediately after running from the corner, but... Uh, I don't think Kamehameha gets scared, man. This guy has nerves of steel. He's, uh... <laughs> Considering his track record, like his history as a player and a personality, yeah, I'd be very surprised to ever see Kamehameha like terrified. Yeah. All right, man. Last stock. Suarez bleeding quite a bit. Yeah, this is uh very tough. 
Suarez caught on the ledge as well in the corner. Not much space to escape, but he still got that error movement. Let's him sneak past that charge shot. He's just trying to stay close to Kaname and figure out what exactly he does in these uh, like moments of discomfort, right? Because at the end of the day, like this this game is, is pretty tough to win from here, but the data you get here is still just as good in the next one. Yeah, but here's the thing, man. As far as we've seen his gameplay, we've seen the way he plays, he could be so explosive. Mm -hmm. So this is nowhere out of that realm of possibility for him. Oh, it looks like he wanted some sort of reset after that uh, fast fall back air. Doesn't find it, so Suarez just disengages. Yeah, Kamehameha was playing super, super safe that whole time, and then recognizes that Suarez likes to jump out of uh, his shield a lot. Just because it's like Yoshi's grounded option is not the best in the world. Forward tilt's pretty good, dash attack's okay. Yeah. Like that kind of thing, but none of those are going to be used at that distance. And so calling out that full hop was just kind of a gamble that you're willing to take in that situation. It's like, you also had the, uh, Kamehameha also had the entire previous game to just see how much Suarez was in the air. And just kind of a little bit of general matchup knowledge. Yoshi's just feel good being in the air because they can drift so well, they have so much control over themselves that it feels more likely that they are going to jump when, when you put the pressure on them because that's still a state that they consider close to neutral. Yeah, and their fastest and safest options are in the air as well, so mm -hmm. you might as well just abuse that. But of course, if you're there in time, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Anything anything if per perfectly red isn't safe. Yeah, exactly. Joker down guns, especially. <laughs> want to make a big deal about that to the chat. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> if we get a Joker, you, I'll let you sound off all day on that. Solid down. Look at that all the day. That move does has always done absurd amounts. Yeah, I, it makes no sense. <laughs> you, I mean, you're getting kicked in the face like 20 times, like a downward facing lightning legs. But somebody was put, you know, onto paper. Hey, this move should do a lot of percent. <laughs> There's going to be a back air from Kamehameha calling out the offstage mm -hmm. drift from Suarez. And that's just Yoshi in his most vulnerable state, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, Suarez oh. finding himself a couple of strong hits. Kamehameha ready to block that uh, interesting uh, egg toss. I think Suarez was expecting Kamehameha to try disengaging uh, when he tossed that. It's so funny, a lot of the time uh, against Mega Man players, you're advised not to jump out of up air, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Yoshi's a character where it's like, yeah, jump out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> you jump out of everything. Oh, the get-up attack actually helping Kamehameha just leap out of that corner. And he's getting closer to Again? Oh, okay. man, that was so scary. Again? It's getting he's getting – yeah, he's going to egg like one more time. <gasps> wow. Perfect that, timing. Yeah, every part of that was lined up just as far as needed it. And it's still tough for him to, like, actually establish himself from the neutral into actually – hitting Kamehameha. Because like we see him trying to intimidate some things by jumping around, like hoping for a bigger opening than just like a straight hit of back air. But Kamehameha's not really flinching to any of these empty hops. Yeah, and Suarez, you know, he keeps on giving up stage control and like putting himself in the corner as soon as he kind of overextends onto Kamehameha's shield. Kamehameha just kind of like chases him, waits, and then as soon as he full hops, he's just there with the back air. Mm -hmm. but right there, Suarez recognizing the scramble situation was a good opportunity to throw out that down B man to get it. Especially since Kamehameha was so comfy in his shield. It's just yeah. like, well, I might even break his shield if I line this up too. Oh! Doesn't quite get it. Sure is taking his time off stage using the egg toss to stall a little bit. Kamehameha gets a, a little bit of a hit, but nothing crazy. And Ooh. there we go, a beautiful fair into fair. And just like that, Suarez is back in the game. Yeah, man, this is what we're talking about, the explosiveness of Yoshi. Specifically Suarez's playstyle, he just is always on top of you. Mm. There's a dare. At 17, he didn't even get all of it. <laughs> yeah, that was like half the damage. These Ooh. hits, though. Took the lead suddenly. Kamehameha snatching it right back. Couple more hits, and this could be Suarez's game. Yeah, Kamehameha slowing it down, actually playing a bit more evasive in terms of his movement, just jumping around Suarez instead, and just getting away from these hitboxes that way. Or preemptively challenging it with just some pellets. And notice notice Kamehameha is like jumping after him. He commits the first jump to see what his reaction is, and then he punishes it depending on what he does. And right there, the metal blade into the back air. Just yeah. a great confirm. You always take that. That's free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, he just ran into the stage to toss the metal blade to, like, force an honest wake up. Yeah. And then if you happen to pick up on a hit, then by all means, you take yeah, the KO on top of it. It's like a Zare almost. In that yeah. Like a, like a ZSS Zare bear kind of situation. Yeah, a retreating gun, something like that. Yeah. It's, you know, it's just good stuff. There's not much more to say than that. It's just that's the sort of uh, play we expect to see at this top level in Ultimate. As, as scary of a game as it is, 
so much of it is about that risk management, especially recognizing um, kind of the risk reward of different placements of, of yourself, yeah. right? Like just like you were saying with Kamehameha in terms of jumping at somebody, and then because they recognize the pressure that positioning does, yeah. they see all the different rewards they can get. Yeah, and yeah. You, you risk nothing by just putting yourself in a situation where you force your